These are the top 10 MetaQuest games I think every VR gamer needs to play, starting with number 10, Walkabout Mini Golf. Whether you're new to VR or you've been playing for a while, Walkabout Golf continues to bring a fun and simple concept from the real world into the virtual. It's as simple as putting in real life. With new courses continuing to come out with an easy and hard version, Walkabout Mini Golf shows no signs of falling off the radar anytime soon. The game boasts realistic putting physics with fun environments that in the real world would cost millions or even billions of dollars. Not to mention some courses are just plain impossible to do in the real world. With countless hours of VR gameplay under my belt, I continue to find myself coming back to this game to both play with friends and showcase VR to new people. Number 9. Assassin's Creed Nexus The long-awaited VR edition in the popular franchise was not a disappointment. The game is not a VR port, but a new edition in the critically acclaimed series that has all the major components of the popular flat-screen games. From knife-throwing to sneaky assassinations, this game is sure to please both fans of the other games and those that have never played. This is definitely a game you'll want to experience, as it is the best game in VR to truly make you feel like an assassin. Number 8. Iron Man VR This is what VR was made for. Being able to step into the shoes or the iron suit of someone's life that you otherwise would never get to experience. Iron Man VR shows you firsthand what it's like to be a superhero with all the powers and challenges to go with it. Just as the suit in the comics has great versatility, Iron Man VR allows you to upgrade and customize the iron suit to best suit your version of Iron Man. It may be an old one at this point, but this development team did it right. There's no denying that while playing this game, you actually feel like the Iron Man that you read about in the comics and have seen in the movies. Number 7. Demio Before video games, the era of tabletop gaming was king. Now you can relive those moments with friends and grind your way through the dungeon just like the kids of Stranger Things. Acting a bit like Harry Potter's wizard's chest, the gaming pieces are animated when attacking their foes in the dangerous dungeons of VR. You get to choose between several different characters with unique powers and will gain various skins and perks as you acquire experience. It's also been announced that they're partnering with Wizards of the Coast to do an official Dungeons & Dragons version. Number 6. Green Hell VR This is a game that is much more intense in nature. You can either play through the story and tutorial, or you can just go straight into survival mode. The goal? Survive as long as you can. Survival games aren't for everyone, and this one is intense. You keep track of your health and stamina, as well as your carb and fat intake and thirst. There's also poison, sanity, and a host of other dangers awaiting you in the dangerous Amazon. The best part of this game is the crafting, which offers a wide range of tools, shelters, and other various items to make. Number 5. Ghosts of Tabor Our second survival game on the list, but this one got Game of the Year before even being out of App Lab on MetaQuest, which is no small achievement. Though quite popular, this game definitely has a huge learning curve. Hunger, thirst, health, and stamina are your main survival issues outside of <laughs> getting killed from other players. The developers are doing their best to give the player a real experience. Everything from your guns, ammo, and gear, you'll find that much of what you equip in the game operates in an extremely realistic way compared to other VR first-person shooters. Comment below what you think about this list so far. Number 4. Population 1 A very popular battle royale that many refer to as the Fortnite of VR continues to please players. This game is completely free to play but also has purchasable skins and characters. But don't worry, this is not a pay-to-win game. All purchasables are simply aesthetic. The main game that most are familiar with puts you on a team of three. As the map gets smaller and smaller, your team is challenged with being the last one standing in the end. Population 1 has a great selection of weapons, but where it really shines in VR is that you can both climb and glide to gain the high ground advantage. Number 3. Dungeons of Eternity my favorite medieval co-op in VR, the story of this game is actually sci-fi in nature, but you'll feel more like a Dungeons & Dragons character than someone from Star Trek with the medieval weapons, armor, and enemies of varied types. You get to choose a dungeon with two other friends and do your best to find better armor and weapons to defeat tougher monsters. The combat is better than many of the medieval combat options in VR, and the customization of your character feels limitless you and your friends are sure to have many hours of fun. Number 2. Asgard's Wrath 2 
You don't need to play the first one to realize what a great game this is. Asgard's Wrath 2 is the long-awaited single-player RPG Quest fans have been waiting for. Playing as a human possessed by a deity, you do your best to thwart the evil schemes of the god Loki. There are four different characters that you'll get to play as. With all the elements of a classic RPG, this game is sure to take up many hours of your time. Not to mention it has a roguelike side in which you dungeon dive in different realms and compete on the leaderboards with the rest of the world. Number 1. Medieval Dynasty New Settlement Though not as popular an RPG as Asgard's Wrath and not as intense a survival game as Green Hell VR, Medieval Dynasty New Settlement has completely caught me off guard with how good it is. Lackluster graphics are the game's only downside. The main goal is to build a thriving settlement by building houses, crafting tools, farming, and fighting off bandits. The more I play, the more I realize just how deep this game goes. You can marry, have children, make food, potions, weapons, the list goes on. I would recommend Medieval Dynasty to anyone as it can be as relaxing or as exciting as you want it to be. The developers of Medieval Dynasty New Settlement also had many plans in the works for new content. Not to mention the flat screen version got multiplayer last year. Could the VR version be next? You thought the video was over, but I have an honorable mention. This is my favorite VR game, but since it's not widely popular, I didn't include it on the list. More people need to be playing the multiplayer on Warplanes World War I Fighters. The community on this game is unbeatable. With unofficial tournaments and leagues, you're sure to make new friends and create new enemies. This World War I arcade flight sim is the first in the trilogy, but it is still my favorite after playing many hours of the other games.